it's Maddie Marie and today I decided to do a braided space bun tutorial for you guys. I kind of decided that doing a bunch of hairstyles in one video is kind of long and it's hard to edit so I am breaking it down into a simple one hairstyle per video now. Also I've sucked at posting videos on Mondays because normally I post on Mondays but I'm trying to keep it to at least one a week. But sometimes life gets busy and that's how it is and you just gotta go with the flow of things. So, a lot of people know how to do space buns but adding just a braid sometimes is hard to grasp or get the gist of it. And so I decided that I would kind of show you how I do it and I also love my way because I don't use bobby pins. So I literally just use hair ties. I go with that and it's a lot easier and it takes half the time and I feel like with bobby pins, a lot of people don't have bobby pins if you're like me. I literally cannot find I have like two bobby pins total. And my hair is short. If you watched my last video, my sister cut my hair. So this is also kind of space buns for short hair. So <laughs> without further ado, let's just get right into the video. It's literally so poofy. My hair is so thick so ever since I, whenever I cut it, it just looks 12 times more thick than it was before. So I part my hair straight down the middle. I don't even use like anything really. Like I just use hair ties, my hands, and my hair. That's like literally it. So I part my hair with my fingers because I don't really care how good it is. So I'm just going through and parting it. So what I like to do is secure one side out of the way and work on the other side. So once the sides just, you can do a bun or a ponytail, I just do a ponytail because it's easy, simple, whatever. So then I come to this side. I like to do inside out braids, if you've seen any of my other hairstyle videos. I always do inside out braids or Dutch braids because I think they look prettier and they stand out more. So I will be doing that. And also comment down below if you would like to see a video on how to actually Dutch braid. I feel like Dutch braid is like foreign for some people, so if you want to see that, comment down below. I have tiny little pieces of hair in the front, and so I, I braid those really, really tight in so that they don't pop up because I have literally a million baby hairs. So that's a little hint that I would say if you're like me to do. <laughs> and another thing I do is I don't ever touch any of this. I take a section on both sides and braid back because I don't really think it's necessary to have this and it sometimes makes it look messier than it needs to be so I just leave the side down and I just braid back a little tiny section okay and then once I get to the back here I just braid about halfway down the rest of my hair just so that I can secure it without it falling out or coming undone on the part that needs to stay tight. Alright, so once that side's done, I come over to this side and take this out and put it in on this side. Just something I do to make sure that the hair doesn't combine back together. And then I do the same thing to this side. And then again, I braid down about halfway of where my hair ends so that when I put the ponytail up here, it doesn't come out. Alright, once those are all braided, I'm going to start doing the bun part. So, how I do this is I just start pulling it up. You can put it as loose or as tight as you want it. That's the art of this is it literally is up to you. And you pull it up to where you want it. Make sure that it's even. I love doing the braid because it actually helps you because I end at the same spot on both sides for the braids. So it kind of gives you a little bit more direction than if you were just free balling it. So I take my brush. This is where you need a brush. I just flip my, my braid over on the other side so that it doesn't get caught in the brush and start pulling up my hair. And I try to make it so tight, but you can make yours loose again, like I was saying. And just work your way up to the braid, pulling it tight or loose, whatever, floats the goat. And then working it into the braid and smoothing out all of the bumps. Then I just grab one of the black hair ties and secure into a ponytail. 
And then when I get to the last loop, I pull my hair through and make little Mickey Mouse ears or whatever you want to call them at this point. And then I take this hair, the extra hair, and tuck it in the front of the hair tie. And then come to this other side. And then making sure that it's all lined up and taking another black ponytail and securing her in. And the last lap, turn and pull it through and tuck the hair in. This one ended up on the back side, but it doesn't really matter because of the next step. The next part is like literally my favorite part out of the whole entire hairstyle. I mean, you could leave it like this, but also mine are backwards, so I'm not gonna do that. But, oh my gosh, this is my favorite. So I take these like little hair ties, I don't even know what they're called, but they're like the plasticky, like springy type ones. And I just literally squish my hair down and put, wrap this around, and I'm not even like accurate with this at all. I just kind of like chuck her in. And look how cute that messy bun is. With the spirals, it gives it more of a texture and it makes it look so unique and different and so fun. And I love it because it's so easy and it's just a messy bun and you don't have to really worry about literally anything. Like I just did that in 10 seconds. Like the actual freak. And if you want to, you can take bobby pins and secure your hair and I like to pull little pieces out for the front so that I don't look like I'm completely bald. Anyways, if you loved this video, smash that like button down below and make sure to change the subscribe button from red to gray as my little sister always says. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.